stereo receivers and LFE outputs. Okay, this question comes from Chris in Port St. Lucia, Florida. Dear Paul, purveyors of audiophile, <laughs> purveyor of audiophile truth. Oh my God. <laughs> they do call me the purveyor or the audiophile guru. Um, I've been annoyed lately. Oh, sorry about that. I'm wondering why manufacturers of two channel hi fi stereo integrated receivers. Or, or integrateds that are meant for music use LFE output for subwoofers instead of subwoofer preouts, or recommending that high level outputs uh, are a better suggestion. And on the same token, why do so many subwoofer manufacturers not use high level inputs? Okay, well, there's a couple of, of good questions there. I'll try and answer them as succinctly as I can, but I do want to show you one of Paul's pride and joys. Look at this bad boy. This is a wood-fired pizza oven. You can see inside there, I got my wood down here. We crank this sucker up, takes about an hour to heat it up. And um, we can get up to about 900 degrees. So when we cook a pizza, it takes 90 seconds, 60 seconds. And uh, ooh, there's bugs out here. So um, yeah, this is... This is, uh, this is something I really enjoy. And this wasn't bad. This is just sitting here. I think, I think I paid like $1,200 for this thing. It wasn't too bad. We had like four guys kind of lift it up here, but it's been great. It's uh, gotten a lot of use here at the McGowan household. All right, LFE. So that LFE is the low frequency effects channel. And typically that's used for home theater, as the name would imply, right? It's an effects channel. Now, why they denigrate subwoofers so poorly into effects. I mean, yeah, I know the subwoofers make booms and blasts and, uh, you know, we audio folks who are into music and two channel, we know the real value of a subwoofer is to provide the, the, that, that, that foundation for music. When I walk across the floor like this, if I'm being recorded, those footfalls aren't normally picked up. That the, you're not hearing it here because I got a little cheesy microphone on. But on a proper recording, when I walk, when the air conditioner comes on, when people move around on a stage, those low frequency, and, and, and often they're well below 20 hertz, all that noise, which we hear with our ears and helps us believe that we are in a space, is lost without a subwoofer. So those aren't effects, those are critical to be able to reproduce the sound of live music in your home. So subwoofers are essential. So in a integrated or receiver setup, when you have an LFE channel, usually that involves an internal crossover on the integrated or the receiver to where they're just separating out the low frequencies and sending it out through that channel. So my advice is stay away from those. Now, you don't have to use those. The second part of this question was what about the high level inputs? Well, good subwoofers have high level inputs. Like my favorite is rel subs. Now those have high level inputs. And by that it takes the, uh, we mean that it takes the speaker outputs, you know, the speaker cables that feed into your speakers, and it feeds that into the subwoofer. It doesn't use the power of the amplifier, it just takes that high level signal, we neck it down into something usable, and then we use the crossover within the subwoofer, which is the right way to do it, instead of that LFE channel, stay away from that, for, for music. For home theater, eh, yeah, I, know. I got a home theater too, but we're talking music here, right? So that's a great way to do it, and my favorite way of doing it, because the idea behind a subwoofer, other than creating that foundation that we want for music, is that it disappear. We want subwoofers to not announce themselves, right? The big boxes, we don't want to hear them. We want them to create enough properly aligned low frequencies that it sounds like the main speakers are reproducing that bass, or we don't even notice it at all. It just sounds natural. To do that, you use the high level inputs on a sub because that takes the audio character 
of your power amplifier and puts it through to the subwoofer, thus helping you get it to where that sub disappears. So, hope that answered your question. Um, if you guys want, come on over for some pizza sometime. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.